movie. So I got involved with the show when I got a phone call from Sean Mannion, his producer, and I worked with him on a project or two um, before this. But I was about to get on a boat to go to to go on vacation, and I got a phone call from Sean, and he said, "Have you ever seen the Venture Brothers?" And I said, "No." It's like, "All right, well, so on the show, there's this." And he went through the whole thing and said that she went to that and. Uh, Describe the show and it sounded really cool. Yeah, do a little face caress. He said something that really made me feel awesome, which was uh, that the way that Levi and Lisa had described the show and what they wanted really fit with the style that he associated with my cinematography. So, um, so to not only get the compliment that like this is a you have your own style is really cool, I like that. Um, but also that it would fit well with something that someone who's as talented as Lisa Hammer wants to do. That's really cool. <laughs> All right. Cool. Is <laughs> yeah. What drew me to Maybe Sunshine was the sort of like the inherent freedom and fun that you can have on a small crew. Like I think at some at some points in production there was like a one to one crew to actor ratio. Uh, so like, and we and we'd all we all knew each other, which was really cool, or grew to know each other over the course of this production, which is awesome when that happens. Um, but yeah, what mostly what drew me to it most was the freedom to have uh, to sort of like go on the fly with your with your schedule and your shot lists. Like I stopped really like putting a whole lot of work into shot lists because I knew that like once we got on set, everything's gonna change. Um, but that's sort of like what's awesome about it is that you have uh, like you have a vision and then it's, you gotta be amenable to change that vision and be, be really flexible um, because it, you never know what life is going to throw at you, and if you can sort of roll with it, you're going to make the best thing you can possibly make in those circumstances. Yeah. You might give people a chance, but I'm going to grow him. I was really shitting someone else and put me by a really <laughs> sort of wobbly lamp, but. Go, you're professional. Uh, you're, you're you know, gonna, yeah, yeah, it's not like I'm going to say anything. I wouldn't say anything like that out loud. To your yeah. face. So you want. I'll yeah. apologize yeah. at the ginger so, meeting. <laughs> oh, God. I'll, I'll be at the ginger, at the ginger meeting. <laughs> I think that everyone who's on the crew tries to adopt the um, really fast-paced attitude and energy that the scene's supposed to have. Um, it's very uh, professional. It's very locked down. Um, no one's goofing around, but at the same time, it's really fun. And actually, that's not true. People goof around a lot, but <laughs> um, when when the camera's rolling, no one goofs. the The time between takes is never more than a minute, minute and a half tops. And a lot of that I attribute to uh, the first AC, Erin Clayton. She's the most competent person. May, might have been the most competent person on set. Um, and I don't think anyone else would argue with me on that. Um, she has like this amazing utility belt that has every filmmaking item supply that you could possibly need. Um, all right, so it originally started with this right here, which originally was a uh, CD player holder for when you're running. And then I guess over here, if you needed like your keys or your cell phone, when cell phones were much smaller. Um, so, and then I got this thing, these things at um, b and just to hold stuff in general. It kind of expanded. So I have, you know, my little AC blower, um, my measuring tape, my, my lens cleaning spray somewhere in there, lens cleaners, you know, my all important, my Leatherman for pretty much anything I need to put together. My mark, my dry erase marker, which I have like three or four of, because you have your backup marker, your backup backup marker, your backup 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 marker, and your backup 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 marker. And then you know my sharpie, which everyone loves to use on set to mark their uh, their cups, so no one throws out their cups. 
but that doesn't always work because people just like to throw out cups. Can I borrow? Um, yes, sure. <laughs> <laughs> Working with a small crew, it's really important that everyone on the crew be on the ball all the time. So I could just give the rig to Aaron and say, hey, can you change this lens? Uh, I'm going to go fix the lighting for the next shot. And probably bef before I even got back to the camera mark, she was there waiting with the camera, with the right lens. Um, she's polished both the lens she took off and put on and checked the battery and made sure that it didn't need a card change. Like, she's great. She's awesome. I stuck my head out the window and the whole top of my body and uh, we just drove across a few bridges and through some streets uh, and it was like, I don't, it was this weird mix between like feeling really gorilla and feeling really out in the open and I felt very, it was a lot of fun. Um, trying to figure, it wasn't like, we didn't shoot it for any specific reason, right? It was. I think it was like three quarters we needed things to edit with and then one quarter like this is going to be a lot of fun. Good general approach. I feel like that's the whole show. You can, yeah, that, that'd be the whole show. <laughs> can you call Martini because it's Martini for the series? Martini! Oh wow, that is so good. You've been practicing, huh? <laughs> during during the course of shooting this web series, I learned a lot, and I got to build a lot of my own lights, which was awesome. And I got to make some really fantastic friendships with very talented people that I hope to work with again in the future. So, everybody should watch this show because we worked really hard on it and I think it's really funny. It's got it's got a, like a, it's got a lot of mise en scène. It's got like 12 mise en scènes in that shot. I'm so proud of it. Yeah, so many so many mise en scènes. I got like four auteur points that day. Yeah. I still have them too in my wallet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Maybe sunshine was a tool in my utility belt. It would probably be my Leatherman here because it fits almost anything, but not quite almost anything. And it, you know, you can impro use it to improvise and just kind of create, take anything, you know, put anything together, pull it apart, put it back together again. And you know, you can pretty much, you know, you, maybe you'll need a plier, but you don't need to use it as a plier. You need to use it as scissors, I don't know, but 